And welcome to part four. Um, so this is a pretty big tutorial, as you guys may know. And now we basically have everything that's saved. It's going to work now. So basically, we're good to go. And so now all we have to do is just add the code that actually makes the editing work, which is a void method. So bear with me here. And this is going to be void. And right after here, we want to make table view, colon, UI table view, space star, um, capital T there, sorry about that, table view, commit, editing, style, UI table view, cell, editing style, close that, um, just close parentheses, editing style, and for row at index path, colon ns index index path, Base star, close that, index path. And basically that's the whole method. So in there, we're going to put this following code that actually is going to make this thing work. So what this is going to be is data, remove, remove object at index, index path dot row. Close bracket, semicolon, open bracket, table view, which we've made a capital I. I always do that. That's my worst thing, guys. Delete sections and delete rows is what we want it. Rows at index path. Rows at index pass, press enter, right here, this is just going to be an NS array, NS array, array with object, and then this is just going to be index path, with row, and then with row animation, colon UI table view, row animation let's try top that's a different way so it could be top bottom left right we're just going to be doing left and we could try this out and close bracket semicolon and basically that's it so now we have to go back into our edit table action which is right here and give it its actions so basically we want to make it a UI bar button item star left item is what we're going to name this. And in there we want to put main table view set editing and we're going to put right here a uh, question mark not a question mark, um, explanation mark, main table view dot editing animated. Yes, we want that animated. Then we want to do if main table view dot editing. Right here, we want to make it, and we want to do left. Um, I did a big spelling error. Left. We want to make that left item, which I said, but I just spelt it wrong. So left item right there, and then space equals space UI bar button item alloc that 
and then we want to do and then we want to initialize that with bar button system style and press enter right system item sorry right here we want to do UI bar button um, change that to system item done target we keep self action we're gonna make that at selector and that is just gonna be um, this is gonna be the action we named it and we named it edit table so right here at selector edit table close that parentheses and close that as a bracket semicolon and then we want to do right here else and then put our following code right there else if it's already pressed and just copy and paste this code right into here except what we want to change is UI bar button style and we just want to change that done text we want to make that edit now and so now we're good so if I build here we're gonna get two um, uh, errors just delete a parenthesis I mean close curly bracket so now we get three I'm really sorry about that um, build it again and what do we have that's wrong here so there seems to be a problem okay and we need another curly bracket oh no we don't so then what do we need what's wrong guys let's find this out together okay so um just look this over table view delete rows at index path and its array array with object index path and that's what we did wrong and then just press enter there build and now we're perfectly fine alright so um, now that's it for part four make stay tuned for part five which is adding our well actually I'm sorry that's not the end we've actually forgot a couple things in this right here in this um hold on let me go into the in the edit table right after all of this crazy stuff just put right here nav item dot right bar button item space equals space left item and then semicolon open bracket self save data close bracket semicolon open bracket main table view reload data which is basically refreshing the table view so just build that and now we're good so we're just gonna get a warning there that's because it's not declared in the dot h but that's not a problem at all now basically all we need to do is take this code right here and basically put that in our add row action so all we have to do is just make that self save data and main table view reload data so now we're good to go let's build and go save all launches perfectly we could delete cells it works like a charm and we could add so say we want Joe gas and add Joe gas close the app launch it bam it saves and what's really unique say I edit and I delete these two but I don't press done quit the app and relaunch it it knows that the changes haven't been completely saved and keeps what you've deleted because you never press done which I actually find very awesome so let's go check out all these different animation styles so if we scroll down what was there a table view animation we did left 
We could do right, up, we could do right, left, top, and bottom. Which I really like is top. Look at how cool this is. So let's just try top, show you what it is. If I delete, it just slides up. If I choose bottom, all it's going to do is a hardcore delete. Basically, it's going to have no animation, and it's just going to go away. Which I don't really find too attractive. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really do anything. It just goes away. Top is definitely my favorite. So, guys, I really hope you found this helpful. And I really hope that this helped you as well. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a nice day.